one was was for my my mother. It's uh, it's about my my own father's death, uh, which was which was ten years ago now, but it was only very recently um, when I was at the residency in in Tronos last summer with with, with Banks that we were listening to lots and lots of Dylan Thomas. It was the, the Dylan Thomas residency, and um, I, I hope. Some of you know uh, Dylan Thomas's uh, poem for his father on his father's deathbed, "Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night." It was a poem that we used again and again in um, in workshops. We used it for all sorts of reasons, uh, wh whether it's musicality or rhythm or or describing meaning. It, it became something of an anthem for the for the residency, and and it was only ten years later, uh, as I was walking home to to Collins House one evening. Uh, as I was walking, it, things were going through my mind, and I finally um, wrote wrote a response to that, my own response to that, for my mother. Now, my mo mother um, came with the rest of the family into hospital when my dad went into hospital, and he was he was in bed, and you know he was lying there, and he was doing nothing, and my mum was getting more and more worried, and um, and she was she kind of getting concerned. So I, I went and I spoke to the doctor, and I said, look, I need some reassurance from my mum because she thinks dad's just coming here to die. And the doctor looked at me, and I, I realized, well, yeah, that's exactly what was what was going to happen. And my mum had spent so much time at, at my dad's side; he couldn't hear anything. Um, but she was telling him stories again and again of how they'd met, um, how they'd gone dancing together as as, as, as they were courting. And um, the doctors were saying, "Well, I just don't know why he's alive. There, there is no reason why this man is still holding on." Um, and I realized it was because my mum wanted him there. And so um, I had to tell her to, to let him go. And that's what she had to do. from Dylan Thomas go, good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. The sailor with a head full of fire, dancing on Mumble's pier and scaling heights, so fragile now, man of stick in linen, I tease you, want to make you mad, want to see you double up with foolish hoots, but you are raging and I do not know. Raging, raging like a red dwarf. Oh, my father, you have given me the hardest task. To stop blazing, a blessing is required. I have to tell my mother to let you go. And so, an Indian summer's kiss gently opens your eyes for a last smile as you pass me a duty to protect your wife. And she, now, Living fire burns, burns like flaming dew. Thank you.